Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Annie. I'm so glad you're here. And probably wondering why I have a stack of books behind me, and that's because I bought a new bookshelf. So yesterday I took all the books off my shelf and bought a taller one, but there's kind of a funny story that goes along with it. I originally bought the Billy bookcase from Ikea without realizing how massive it was. I literally bought it, built the entire thing, put it up in my room, realized it was too big, and then disassembled the whole thing. But I bought the $40 Room Essentials one from Target, which is so much smaller and looks so perfect in my space. So today we're gonna organize my books. Organizing everything by color is a little bit harder than I thought it would be. I don't know what to do about series. Do I keep all of the series together? Do I separate them by color? I don't know what to do about this top. I like Akatar where it is. I want Emily and Henry up here, but I don't know. Why is this like so randomly stressful? Like I don't like the way it looks and I'm trying to figure it out. I also have so many like red and orange colored books, which I didn't realize. I don't know what color to do after white, maybe blue. finally finished putting all the books on my shelves. So here's a mini book tour. On the top, I have the Akatar series. I'm only missing one. I'm missing the novella. I have two of my favorite poetry books, and then I have all of my Emily Henry books minus Happy Place, and then the Summer I Turn Pretty series. So everything but the bottom row is pretty great. Um, I would say I have the most white books on this row. So it goes from white to blue, and then to green, to purple, to pink, to yellow, orange. The bottom row is like the last of the colors, so red, and then brown, and then black, and then all of my series i don't know what to do about the series like the only series that isn't together is this woven kingdom because they're both right there and i didn't have room on the bottom that's what it's looking like so far i also had a little dumb moment because i realized i have a book embosser which i barely used and i told myself that i was going to stamp my books but i forgot to stamp them before i put them all in it just looks like this and then you stamp it on your book i got this from etsy and i will link it in the description it's just like an open book and it has flowers and it says from the library of and then it says my name i'm gonna go through every single book and we're gonna stamp it I love the like aestheticness of the color coding, but I don't know how I'm gonna feel when it comes time to like actually read the books. I feel like it's gonna be hard for me to find the books that I want. So we'll see how long the color coding lasts. I don't know. I think it's cute. I will keep you updated on if it stays like this or not. But that's all for today's video. I love you. You know the drill, like, subscribe, comment. That's it. I love you. Okay, bye. <laughs>